Now let's look at how to copy profitable Solana meme coin traders to make your first $100 a day. Once you've gotten the hang of this strategy, you can do it consistently. There are basically two things you need for this strategy. One is desk screener. I've already made a video, a beginner's guide on how to use desk screener, which is the best out there. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it in the description box. Two is Telegram. This is where you are going to install TradeWiz. TradeWiz is a Telegram trading bot, but it is not just a bot. Sure, it can do um, buy and sell and copy trading like most bots, but what sets TradeWiz apart is that one, it can suggest profitable wallets for you to copy. Two, you can feed it a wallet and it's going to analyze it and help you determine if it is worth copying or not copying. You can also feed it a smart contract for a token and it will give you profitable wallets that have traded that coin and you can then decide to either copy or not to copy. And four, it has an academy and a helpful community where you can ask questions and share your trade ideas. So the general group is where you just have general conversation. You can see the announcement channel, the idea session where you share ideas. You also have the supports, um, the brag, your gains is where people are posting their gains like this guy, 121%, um, 202%, 140%. And you also have, of course, the academy. With all this, however, you have to be careful with the community. Only ask and answer questions within the group. Don't engage with anyone outside the group because there are scammers within the group waiting to prey on the unsuspecting. The admins are, however, doing a good job in booting them out, but some still slip through. So you have to be careful. Even if someone has the name and picture of an admin, confirm that they have the admin tag. Like red is an admin. You can see admin tag on red. Then Jordan, you can see community helper. So just confirm they either have the admin tag, the community helper, or the moderator tag before you engage with them outside the group if you need to and please take this seriously because people have gotten their accounts hacked by not adhering to this now that said make sure to use the link in the description to access trade with bots it is my affiliate link and it also ensures that you are using the correct bot and not an imposter bot okay let me start by walking you through trade with so this is trade ways Anything I need to get to the beginning of the bot, I just type forward slash starts and it will take me to the beginning of the bot. Now looking at here, this is my wallet address and this is my balance in Seoul and the equivalent in dollars here. Looking at here, we have buy and sell. Buy, if I click on it, I can enter the contract address of the token I want to buy, then enter the amount and just purchase the token right away. The same thing goes for sell. Then under here, limit order simply shows me the limit orders that I have. Then we'll have auto sell. It's simply where I set my take profit and stop loss. We're going to come back to that. Then positions, wallet simply shows me my wallet. I can import a new wallet and I can export the private key of this, my wallet. I can also withdraw this soul I have to another wallet. Then of course you have the help the setting and the referral. Now, where we're going to concentrate on is the copy trade and smart wallet. But let's look at the settings first. So on the settings, I can set my slippage. Currently, I have my slippage at 5%, but just by clicking on it, I can enter the new slippage I want. Say I want the slippage to be six now or eight. I can just enter eight and this will change to eight. I can also change my gas fee. Um, I can do my buy setting here. Like these are quick buy settings. Like during my buy, I could just click the button 0.2 to instantly buy 0.2 sold worth of that particular token instead of entering them manually. I can choose to change this 0.3 to say 0.5. So these are basically simple settings for quick buy. You can do the same thing for sell. You basically here set the percentages you want to sell. Say you have bought a token, you want to sell 50%, just click on that. This way you do the settings, right? For buy and sell. Now, 
let's look at the copy trade and smart wallet we'll start with the smart wallet on the smart wallet there are two things locate smart money for a specific token and give me a smart money address if i click on give me a smart money address what happens is that trade we just goes and gets me a profitable wallet address on its own so this is a wallet address it brought up and you can see in the last seven days 730 dollars is a profit it made a 52.83 percent win rate traded 181 times in the last seven days and each buy is about 192 dollars when you scroll down you can see the more details of the profit and loss about this coin and the profit it made is 719 which is a 256 percent profit you can see them all here it also shows you the losses it made like for this last one this is for seven days i can check for 24 hours and for the last 30 days to so copy this wallet so i'm going to just click here because in this video i'm going to copy two different wallets so this is one that trade waste is giving me i can choose to do further analysis on this particular wallet by using this tool called pulse track soul so i simply just enter the wallet address and this actually gives me more details on this coin in a different way kind of so it shows me its wins and it losses average trade time shortest trade and just it gives me different type of information on that particular wallet and this is actually also pretty good so the analysis on this wallet is so far is good i'm just going to click here to copy this wallet address and i'm going to use it for my trade another way i can get a wallet address is by going to desk screener i want to get two wallets one from directly from desk screener and one from the trade we bought so what i could do on desk screener i want only solana coin so i'm going to come to this section and click on solana and i want to look for trending coins in the past 24 hours now let's look at maga 2025 which is the second coin here and i want to go to top traders so basically i'm looking for somebody that bought below 500 dollars and make good profit this is number one top trader he bought um more than 50 dollars worth of the coin and has made four thousand dollars in profit from this particular coin if i click here it's going to show me more details like this guy basically bought at the beginning and sold some here and sold more here and more here so i'm going to go ahead and copy his wallet address then i'll go back to tradewiz and simply just paste this wallet address into tradewiz the bots will go ahead and analyze this wallet for me so this particular wallet in the last seven days has made thirteen thousand dollars and you can see all the trades it has made it has made a lot of trades 312 trades so this might actually be a boss wallet i don't know but we gotta find out and his losses are is actually minimal this is the biggest loss is just minus 0.1 so i'm going to also copy this wallet address and use them in my copy trades so i have two wallets i want to copy but let me show you more things that trade with can do so if i go back to smart wallet and i click on locate smart money for specific token here i can paste a contact address and trade ways is just gonna go ahead and give me profitable wallets from that particular smart contract so i'm gonna go back to desk screener and for this city smaga i'll go ahead and copy the contract address of this token by clicking here then i'll come back to tradewiz and paste it into this window so what did tradewiz do it went ahead and just gave me profitable wallets that traded this token you can see the first one made thirty one thousand dollars which is a five thousand percent increase and this is just the wallet that i've traded this um token profitably i can do more analysis by clicking on them one after the order when I click on them, it does the same thing. You just go ahead and give me more insight into that particular wallet. As you can see that this wallet 
is not that good to copy it might be just a bot wallet so i click on them one, one by one to just get insight on the wallet so i found one wallet that did pretty well i'm going to copy it again now i have three wallets that i want to copy one suggested by trade with bot one i got from desk screener and one i got from the smart contracts of that particular token through TradeWiz. Now to copy, I simply click on copy trade. Then I'll click on add. Here is where I do my settings. Tag is what I want to call the wallet. So I can call it, the first one is, I can call it TradeWiz Smart. So the name we change to TradeWiz Smart, as you can see here. The wallet address, when I click on it, I just simply paste that wallet address there. Buy percentage is okay at 100%. So I'm going to put my maximum buy for each buy. Of course, I'm going to buy 100% of whatever this person is buying. Uh, I want to test this out first. So I want to buy 0 0.035. That will be my maximum buy. I could leave minimum by the same. I can also decrease it to 0 0.03. This is how I want to put it. So this makes the 100% not really important since I'm actually putting the amount of soul I want to buy or sell. Total investment soul, it says not limited. So I want to limit this to 0 0.2. This is for the test. So once my buys accumulate up to 0 0.2, so then every trade this trade I made is not going to be copied. So what I want to do first is to actually test it, you know, test all the buys to make sure that the trader is good before I can come here to come and lift this and maybe make it unlimited if the trader is, is pretty good. It's more like a risk management thing. Each token buy time. Now some traders might buy a token like multiple times as a go if i put one it means that when they buy like five times i'll only buy one time this is where you set it so by the time reset after sold i'll leave as is now all renounced if you watch my video on desk screener i only want to buy tokens that the liquidity is locked and also burnt so even if the trader is buying a token that is not renounced i don't want to do the same so I'm going to click done buy. I'm going to change this also to don't buy. Traders maximum transaction limit. I'll leave it as not limited. Traders minimum not limited. Palm.form. Should they buy from here? True. So I'm going to leave the rest of this as is. So copy sell. When the trader sells, should I also sell? Yes. Sell by position ratio. I'm going to leave this as false. I'm going to leave all this as is anti mev i actually don't want to enable anti mev i'll leave the rest of this as is then auto sell you can set auto sell let's say you don't want to sell when the seller is selling you want to sell at your own terms in other words maybe the seller is waiting for you 2x you want to sell at 50 percent you can go to the setting and set this and enable it i want to leave this as false this is also a kind of risk management it's you setting your limit order and your stop loss now once this is done i'm going to go ahead and click on create so you can see that trade with smart is live i can pause it by clicking on pause or i can click on it and if i don't want to copy it again i'll click on this delete and it i will stop copying it i'll go ahead and do this for the rest of the order wallet addresses and i'll come back and show you how to set stop loss and take profit on tradewiz so i have gone ahead to create a copy trade for the three wallets that i analyzed again if you want to go to the beginning you just click on forward slash starts you get to the beginning if i want to see my trades the trades i'm copying i'll click on copy trades and i will see all of them here now to show you where to set your stop loss and take profit you click on auto sell so you can see here this is actually stop loss to set stop loss you just put a minus to set take profit you just write it without any minus let's say i want to set another one if i click here and type 20 
so this is a take profit of 20 so in other words if i enable this for a particular token when it gets to 20 percent it's going to sell if i want to add a stop loss of um say minus 20 percent i click on add then click on this and just type minus 20 and enter so you can see this has changed to minus 20. if i want to delete this just click on it enter zero enter it to be deleted so this is how you set this up okay guys stay tuned because for my next video on tradeways i will show you the results of these wallets that i've copied so guys as you can see using tradeways is easy the difficult part is identifying a profitable wallet to copy but don't worry i've got you covered here in this video here what i did is to walk you through three strategies for discovering profitable wallets to copy and be warned guys it is a lot of work to find this wallet but once you find the right wallet it can be really incredibly rewarding so click here to watch that video